guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayala13. Today we're going to be talking about basing. Think of basing as a picture frame to the art that is your model. It will help to make your models look better. Now I'm going to be talking about simple ways of basing today, but in the future I'll do additional videos on how I do my snow bases, my desert bases, or my goo bases. The easiest way to make your bases look exceptional is to buy resin bases and then just paint them up like they're part of the miniature. On the downside, resin bases can be quite expensive, which isn't a problem if you only want a small collection, but if you collect entire armies, then the cost will build up. Additionally, you may want to check that the resin bases are the right size. Some of them can be a millimeter or two short, which isn't a problem if you're a filthy casual like me, but if you're a competitive gamer, then you may want to consider that. Regardless, if you do choose to use resin bases, you must pin the model to secure it to its base. The easiest way to texture your own bases is to start with sand, but before we do that, we're going to need to fill any gaps present in the base. If your model is already attached to its base, you could use green stuff putty to fill the gap. Roll the putty into a little sausage, then plug the gap. and flatten out the top. Don't worry about making this look too perfect since you're going to be covering it with sand anyway. If you don't have muddling putty, you can find something else to plug the gap with, like a toothpick. If your model is not attached to its base yet, my favorite thing to do is cover the hole with sticky tape and then cut around it with your modeling knife. Glues and paints will not stick well to the sticky tape, so I'm going to hit it with a coat of primer. They're super easy. Now don't forget, if you're not using these tabs to secure your model, you really should be pinning them to the base so that they're extra sturdy. Water down some PVA glue so that it flows more easily, and then paint it onto the model's base, trying not to get too much onto the model's feet. Dunk the miniature in some sand, and tap off the excess. I like the kind with pebbles in it to add some interest to the base. If you accidentally got sand on your model, just wash the PVA glue off your brush and then while the brush is still wet, wipe the sand away. If you accidentally got some sand past the rim of your base, just use your thumb to remove it easily. Let the glue dry a little bit and then hit it with another layer of very watered down PVA glue to seal it so that the sand will not budge. I recommend a base coat followed by a dry brush or two to bring out that sand's texture but do not leave it unpainted. Unpainted sand doesn't have the same shading that your painted model does, and so even though it looks like sand, it doesn't match the model and it's gonna look wrong. You can paint the ground yellowy, reddy, brownish colors, but today I'm gonna go with classic black. Water the paint down a little so that it flows more easily between the sand granules and let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. Dry brush the base with gray, taking care not to get any paint onto the model's feet. Now get a lighter gray or white and dry brush just around the outside of the base. This makes it appear as though the model has a shadow. Time to paint the rim of the base. I prefer subtle color choices for this so that it doesn't draw attention away from your model. So you could leave it here or you could apply more textures to the base. This is static grass. Uh, take care not to breathe it in or the fibers may irritate your respiratory system. Put a few spots of PVA glue on the base and then dunk the model in the tub and shake off the excess. Don't be tempted to blow it away or it will go everywhere. The fibers are electrostatically charged, so they repel each other, which means they stick up away from each other, kind of like a tuft of grass. It's neat, huh? Now, even if you want your model standing in a grassy meadow, I would discourage you from putting grass all over the entire model. It just looks a little too uniform. I recommend mixing it up a bit. This is flock. You can glue it on just like the static grass, or you can buy these tufts of grass. All you've got to do is choose one, peel it off, the backing here, 
dunk it in your PVA, not too much, and then glue it right on your model's base. How easy is that? Shop around, your local hobby shop should have a lot of interesting textures that you can add to your bases, but if you don't want to spend too much money, you can even try just going for a walk in the park and looking at things on the ground that you could use, or even going to your local supermarket and looking in the spices aisle. Some seed pods have some interesting shapes and textures you can use. Well, that's it for basing. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. See you later.